What's up guys? I wanted to make a quick video just showing you all the bearing failures that I'm seeing on very late model mowers, um, whether it be the spindles or the PTO clutches. I don't know if these bearings are coming from China. Um, they're just wearing out and a lot of manufacturers are using, you know, spindles um, that are made in China but the bearings that the companies are using like for the PTO clutches, I'm just seeing bearing failures wearing out far beyond what they should. So let me show you what I'm talking about. But first, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a John Deere standard commercial mower. And first thing I always do is make sure I got a good, fresh, charged up battery. And I want you to hear what it's doing when I try to start it. I'm going to take you over here and let you listen. Notice how the engine is moving just a little bit. So when I heard that clunking noise, it sounded an awful lot like the starter when this little gear here comes up and it'll shoot up to engage the flywheel and, and spin. And sometimes when these starters go bad, that gear will just go up and make a very similar noise but it, it won't spin but you can see in that video that it was moving a little bit so that's what made me think that it was probably that uh, clutch going out and you can see how clean this machine is it only has 117 hours which is nothing for a commercial mower I mean, still got the plastic on the knee pad there or thigh pad and so I went, went ahead and Got it on some jack stands and take it a look underneath and you can see how that bearing has completely worn out, shot, gotten hot, burned up. That uh, got so hot it's melted that harness right there, the plastic piece right there. Now this customer thought the engine had locked up. That bearing had just got become so hard to turn with it being connected to the crankshaft. It just wouldn't let the engine turn. And here's a close-up look of it after I've removed it. Look at those bearings. Look how hot this thing has gotten. Like glued that metal right there. The bearing is toast after 117 hours. And this bearing felt actually okay. That's the top side bearing for this clutch. So pretty much all I could do is put a brand new clutch on it, same part number, and I even wrote down the date and everything just in case this thing came back after another hundred something hours. But now let's see how easy to crank up. This is a pretty common issue. Here's a another clutch. Same manufacturer. Look how blue blue that metal is from the heat. Does that bearing look like it's easy to turn? Here's another example of some bad bearings going out way before they need to. I can't remember how many hours are on this machine, but let's see, a thousand hours. But I'll show you as I engage this clutch. Not even spinning. Here it starts to spin. Sounds terrible. Now, as far as the little residential mowers, like this is just an idler off of like a, you know, S120, S130. See how that center part is kind of binding up as I'm rotating the outside of the sheave here? And now here's a new one. See how easy it turns? I've seen these go bad as early as 10 to 12 hours. And a lot of the components, um, like on these, this is a spindle on a, off a John Deere commercial mower. A lot of the components, um, the, even parts of the frame, a lot of stuff's made in China. And as you can see right here, the spindle housing's made in China. The bearings are probably coming from China. So guys, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the solution is. We're kind of stuck just being able to purchase what we can get. Um, you know, 
Um, I actually had one one viewer. I'm trying to you know I'm trying to hope these videos help you guys out, um, maybe to make some better decisions or whatever, or figure out how to repair your equipment and save some money. And I had a viewer. And this was probably months and months ago. I was actually on vacation and walking around, and this guy was having some problems with his uh, mower, and he was saying. As soon as he touches grass with the blazing gauge, it'll just stop cutting. And he was, um, um, I guess, looking for some help, you know. And so I told him, I said, hey, man, first thing I would do is take that belt off and just check all your spindles first. Because oftentimes it's a locked up spindle like, like I just showed you or... Um, I said, you know, because those bearings get harder to turn as they wear out. And within a few minutes, he snaps back at me saying, with all your experience, you should know that bearings don't get harder to turn as they wear out. They just make noise. And at that point, I'm thinking, man, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm actually on vacation. I don't have time for this. You're clearly, I can't help you. You know, and I said, Bearings get harder to turn as they wear out. And I think I've just proven that with the footage I've shown. So anyway, you know, I try to make these videos and then just some people are just, you can't help them. I don't know, but hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll have more videos like this coming soon. Thanks for watching.